Look who's here, it's Mittens and Nora. Look, he's my little baby. She was sleeping under my chair and of course I had to show her to you guys because she's precious. Okay, no biting, no biting. Calm down. Oh, she angry. Anyway, today I'm glad to say that we're going to continue the wonderful story that is fighting temptation. I believe we're on chapter 14. Yes, chapter 14 out of 30, so literally almost halfway there. And I'm so excited to see what's gonna be happening because right now, like, every single chapter is a freaking cliffhanger. So, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holidays and spending time with your family and loved ones. And in case you guys miss Lord Brian, this is his Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok. Give this video a like. And now, without further ado, let's go. Sweetie, this is the last wedding dress I have in stock. If you're not happy with it, we'll have to go to another state to find a right one. Wait, we're looking for wedding dresses? Didn't our mans just leave us? Like he chose to leave us because he supposedly murdered our non-existent father. Hmm, interesting. Huh, there are some other shops in this town. Don't be ridiculous. It's just difficult to find the right one. When you know, you know. Let me see the last dress and I promise I'll make up my mind. Don't be such a baby, Evie. Oh, Jojo's always such a good friend. Are you forgetting how it was when you had your wedding? Anyway, she's marrying Zeth, her forever lover. She has to look perfect. I won't leave that store until I know she looks like the queen she is. Fair enough. This dress is coming straight away. Such good friends I have. Poor guys. They have to guard the store until we're done. Mm, they don't even know we're not going to have a wedding. Should I offer them some cookies or coffee? I think you should. I feel so bad because they had to endure the rain for us. Can't wait for Zeth and Nick to come back. You know Jojo. I'm so looking forward to being his wife. I love him, babe. Oh, girl, my heart. He might be dangerous, but to me, he's perfect. Hey, don't you dare cry. They'll be here in a few hours. Today, I want you to be happy and find the perfect dress, and after that, I'll take care of the rest. You're crazy, but I love you so much, just the way you are. You're my family, and nothing will change that. We're going to grow old together and share lots of sweet memories. Damn straight. I love you too. You're the sister I never got to have. Your friendship makes me hella jealous. You guys are so sweet. Aw, Evie. I'm the sweetest. She's just fine. Huh. Hey, I'm still here, you know. <gasps> wow. Look at the time. Let's hurry the guys or they'll close the store while we're still inside. I couldn't agree more. So, is this the one? You look amazing. I don't know. All three dresses are my favorite. Come on, guys. Choose one for me. Please make it easy. Nah, honey. Can do. It's all on you. It's your choice. We aren't the ones getting married. Queen, it's time to choose your wedding dress. Green, ivory, green. Okay, that's cute. What's next? The lace mermaid. Oh, maybe simple but cute on her. And the last one, polyester. Not a fan of polyester. I think I like the first one for her. It's very classy. Oh yeah, that's the one. I love the choker too. This is the dress. I love the cool details of this dress. What do you think? We're hoping you'd say that. This is the dress. Seth won't be able to find the right word to say once he sees you in this dress. Trust me. Let's hope so. Where are you having your honeymoon? Oh, I don't know, to be honest. Shoot, I need to book the tickets for that too. How on earth could I forget about it? Breathe, babe. Our wedding is in three months. There's still plenty of time. Al's right. Oh, we'll find the perfect place. Thank God your fiance is a multimillionaire. He can afford a Willow the Wisp honeymoon. Damn straight he will. I'll make sure of it. Let me pay for the dress and we're ready to go. What? Are you crazy? You're not paying for my dress. It's so expensive. Stop arguing with me. Your dress is my wedding present. I'll pay for it. And that's the end of the conversation. I won't allow her to let her pay. Oh, she's my friend. Of course. I'm going to pay for her wedding dress. Fine, babe. Fine. That's my girl. Seth is going to kill you. Not if I kill him first. Poor guy. I already feel sorry for him. <laughs> me too. Yeah, me too. Except now, like he's dead to us. Hello? Strange, Seth isn't answering his phone. He always answers when I call, like always. I did speak with Nick a few minutes ago. They should arrive soon. I have a bad feeling. Like, I don't feel right. I have a bad feeling. I can't explain it, but I feel strange, babe. Like, so strange. What did I tell you about stressing out? You need to calm down. Everything's good. Trust me, your boy is fine. He's not. I don't know. I don't like it. Look, there are cars in the parking lot. <gasps> Come, let's go see our bad boy boyfriends. Finally. Oh my gosh, she's going to get her heart broken. I just know it. Aww. Hey, handsome. Welcome back. A cupcake. What's wrong? Where's Zeth? L, we need to talk. Did something happen? What happened? He isn't coming back, L. He thinks he isn't worth your love. 
What? I'm sorry, what did you just say? I'm really sorry, Elle. I really am. Explain what the heck is going on before I send you five meters underground. He killed Rodrigo. And? Rodrigo was your biological father, Elle. Huh, what? I'm sorry, I thought you said Rod Rodrigo was my biological father. <laughs> Care to repeat that? It's the truth. He's your birth certificate. What on earth? Let me explain. Oh my god. My supposed father killed my mother, my biological father killed who I thought was my father, and my fiancé killed my biological father? Did I get that right? Darn it! Elle, I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. Rodrigo wanted the diamonds, not the relationship with me? Yeah, he already had another family. My mother died because she had an affair with Rodrigo. Yes. Rodrigo killed my father? Yes. Seth left me because he feels guilty about killing my biological father? Give him some time, L. He thinks he hurt you for killing him before knowing the truth. He'll be back. He loves you. I need some time alone. Wow. Babe, please, just... I just want to be alone. I mean, she literally just got her wedding dress. What's going to happen now? Who knows? We need to find Seth and find a way to figure out this mess. We just bought her wedding dress today, she... Don't cry, love. Seth will be back. He better be back for everyone's sake. I'm gonna go find L. Let her be. She needs some time to cry the pain out of her system. Thanks. Thanks. Don't tell me what to do. She's my family. Nobody can understand what it's like to be alone when you need a shoulder to cry on. He'll be back. He loves her so much. Yeah, but he left us. Twice. Shoot, this is so messed up. Poor L. I'm gonna go make us some tea. I'll help us calm down a little. Good idea, honey. Try to call him. He won't take my calls. Okay. I need a strong drink. Don't tell Evie she's against drinking. I won't. Oh, we won't. Aw. He left me again. He left. Again. I was so afraid to lose him again. It hurts so much. I never should have let him back into my life. He isn't coming back. He will. You want to know why? Because you're everything to him. Yeah, but not enough to stay. You're the reason he went there in the first place. He just needs some time to understand that you're not angry with him. I'm not angry. I love him with all my heart. Shh. Don't cry, sweetie. He's coming back and you're going to be okay. My family, how could they have done something like this to me? My own father was aggressive with mom. Can you believe it? I'm sorry. I refuse to think Rodrigo is my biological father. He didn't want me because I reminded him of my mother. What kind of BS is that? Can a person be so cruel? Did he want to hurt me because of some diamonds? I swear to God, if I find the diamonds, I'm going to bury them on his grave so he can live happily in hell. I know it's so hard to believe, but Elle, you're stronger than this. You're going to be okay. I mean, it's a lot of bombshells on one little girl. We can't do anything about it anymore, but one thing I'm sure of, you're nothing like your parents. You're smart, beautiful, kind. You're nothing like them and you're gonna live your life. With the money you're gonna get from your family, you can start your own business. Make sure all your dreams come true. I don't want anything from anybody. I just wanna go home. Can we please go home? Without Zeth, it doesn't feel right to stay here. Yeah, I'm gonna go pack our things and go home. She's such a good friend, you guys. You stay, babe. Stay with Nick. He can't lose you too. It's painful enough that his own brother left. No, I'm coming with you. Nick will be fine without me. You need me more and I'm gonna be there for you no matter what. Please stay. I'll be okay by myself. Yeah, right. This isn't your decision to make. I'm coming home with you. End of discussion. Only if you're sure, babe. Absolutely. You're my family. We're gonna figure out the rest in time. Now I'm gonna go pack our things. Go have a shower and try to relax a little. Okay, thank you. Why is she showering with her clothes on? <laughs> babe, she's so depressed. Oh, honey. Don't cry. Tell me and I'll do it. Plan our wedding. Plan our wedding. Plan our wedding. I'm sorry, what? You heard me, we're getting married. You freaking liar. You're telling me, not asking. Do you realize that? Here. <gasps> Did you buy me a ring? Are you serious right now? I bought it seven years ago. Remember when I told you that I had a surprise for you and that's why I went to your place that night? I remember. I wanted to propose to you that night. So here I am seven years later doing what I was planning to do. How many more years do we have to wait again, huh? I wanted to get married because baby, we're soulmates and that's what soulmates do, they get married. You need to work on your romantic side. You need to say the word and I want to hear baby. What word? Oh, you know what word. What word, what word, what word. Don't play smart with me, patience is not my forte. What's your forte? Get rid of your clothes and I'll show you. <laughs> okay, not, not happening. Say yes, baby. Say you want to make me the happiest jerk alive. Yes, I'll marry you, crazy jerk, because I really don't have a choice, do I? That's right, you don't. This is really happening. You're not messing with my head right now, are you? This is happening. We're getting married. Guys, I'm really pissed off right now. How dare he leave her after doing all of that? I love you, God help me. I do love you so much. He's actually a coward. Have we noticed that? He's a coward. I love you more. Impossible. It's not. Seth? Yeah, baby? Don't leave me again. I won't. 
liar. That's twice now. No, three times he lied to us. Why are you packing? We're leaving without Seth. I just don't want to stay here. You're staying now? I'm sorry, but no, I can't leave her alone when she needs me the most. Baby, I need you too. Please don't go. I'm sorry. I love you, Jojo. You're everything I'd never imagined I'd have. Please don't do this. Stay with me. I love you too, but she's the only family I've got, and in this kind of situation, she always comes first. That's sisters before misters. Always. All the time we spend together doesn't mean anything to you? It does, but please try to understand. Don't make me choose between Elle and you, because you know my answer. Right, I'm just letting you know that I will always be here for you. You're my life now, Jojo. Don't give up on us, please. He's so understanding. Don't do that to me. Don't make me leaving even harder than it is. Just don't break up with me, please. I understand that Elle needs you, but I need you too. And after Zeth is going to be back, I want us to be together. I want you to be with me all the time. I promise we can still see each other, but just give me some time. And after she's in a better place, I'll see you again. Okay. Okay. Come here, Cupcake. Give me a kiss. I love you. I love you more. They better be back together because darn it, Zeth, you're ruining a lot of lives. After three months... She's still crying. <sighs> I don't know what to do anymore. Nothing makes her happy. She doesn't eat much. She barely sleeps because of the nightmares. I tried everything. I tried doing every single thing and nothing works. She's so broken. I'm afraid she'll never recover. Seth isn't anywhere to be found. Roger's trying to locate him, but unfortunately we haven't done anything. I'm gonna go end him. She lost so much weight. I swear I'm losing my mind. Shh, don't cry. We'll find a way to fix this. I promise. He better. It's your brother. Uh, one whole year, you guys? He's a jerk. He isn't coming back, is he? Let me guess, she's gonna try to move on and that jerk is gonna come back as in typical Shirley Mafia fashion. I'm afraid not, Elle. I can't see you like this anymore. Please, for me, try to forget about him and move on with your life. Please, just try to move on, sweetie. I understand your pain, but what you're doing isn't healthy for any of us. You're right, what should I do? Okay, so here's one of Nick's friends. She's a doctor, she can help you. Give it a try, some therapy can put you back on your feet. I thought she was giving me a date. I'll come with you every single time. Will you do it for me? Yeah, I'll try for you. I can't live like this anymore, this isn't me. Thank God, I love you girl, thank you, thank you. She better not take him back. What? Let me guess, he's back, of course. Hello brother, happy to see me. That's right, punch him, he deserves it. After all this time, a whole year? Damn, damn. Anyway, wow, you guys. Let me know your thoughts. If you think you should forgive him, if you think he's going to be groveling, or if you think, like, it was a justified reason for him to leave and, like, have a little pity party. I mean, a whole year, guys. That's a long time. He could have contacted her, have given her some closure, something. Like, it's very selfish, I think. It's very toxic. Don't let people do that to you guys. It's not healthy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later.